This is a People's Liberation Army 24 hour special operations assault food packet. Or I believe it's dubbed on the front here, special warfare food. Special warfare food is pretty much the PLA's take on the US first strike ration. The difference, the FSR, it weighs two pounds, seven ounces or 1,121 grams and it contains 2,800 calories. The PLA's first strike ration, essentially, is what it is. It weighs one pound, 14 ounces, or 854 grams, and it contains 2,200 calories. But it also takes up about 25% less cubic space and simpler overall. Although the first strike ration takes up more cubic space and weighs a little bit more, much more menu variation, that's extremely important for soldiers' morale. This, on the other hand, four components. That's all you get, one menu. And just like the first strike ration, this thing can be consumed on the go with little to no preparation required. Has a 36 month shelf life, component breakdown, calorie breakdown, 370 grams of carbohydrates, 138 grams of protein, and then only 19 grams of fat. A breakdown on amino acids has a bunch of taurine as a tear notch on the side. You get two different kinds of bars the type one and type two. Type two is really light, 33 grams. Type one is dense, over double the weight, 75 grams each. Six. Type 1 bars, 3 type 2s, 1 vitamin mineral, energy beverage base, and then an energy gel. Look at this, 150 grams. It's a nice portion. The type 1s are 267 calories each. The type 2, 126. The gel is 69 calories, and then the beverage base is 184. The type 1 bars, that's your main source of sustenance, I'll bet it gets pretty boring pretty fast. Again, it's a 24 hour ration, but I'm going to break this down to just one single meal so it's not extremely redundant. All right, let's get this out on your tray. Nice, okay, let's first start off with checking out a type one energy bar. Oh wow, look at that, it has an oxygen absorber. Thing is like, Definite protein bar, super dense. Look at this. Oh yeah. A light, sweet smell with malt and grain. And then one of these. Actually, let's open up this one. And look at that. It's like little purple rice puffs. It's black rice. Nice. Mm. Now that smells like rich, sweet malt. My guess, that's like the dessert. Look at this, right? It actually has a little cap and mouthpiece that you can close back up. Addition to this part up here, which is just like a USMRE beverage base pouch. Oh wow, that's a strong multivitamin smell with, again, malt and lychee. Huh, look at that. Comes off the, the end like that, this little thing. I don't know if I really like that design. You could lose this cap real easy. Now for the energy gel. Ooh, wow. Now that stuff, ooh. Oop. Here, look at this. It 
so viscous. Looks pretty thick, like almost like a weird smoothie and slightly oxidized potentially. I'm not sure. Mmm, just had a little taste. Tastes like expired multivitamins. Has the smell of it too. Not bad. Let's first start with one of these. Listen to this. That was a lot like Play-Doh. Hmm. That has such a dense, chewy texture. And with not much of a, a payoff on flavor. It's laborious. Well, you'll actually get your jaw tired chewing it. And I'm not even halfway through the bar. It's like clay or something with a malt flavor, with a light sweetness. I mean, so minuscule, lightly bitter. Like, that has to be whey protein and soy protein concentrate. Mmm. It's not very appetizing, but my guess is you, you actually eat one bar every, like, hour or two. That's more realistic. There's no way in any practical nature you'd want to sit down with two of these and one of these. This is presentation purposes. This is to be eaten on the go. And throughout the day, with the really nice breakdown of, you know, amino acids, taurine, inositol, arginine, and high carb, high protein, low fat. Totally different. Gosh, I can hardly eat this. Totally different for a ration. I mean, being low fat is like unheard of. Here, actually, I gotta go over this. Oh, wow. What a, what a nice change up. They give you those so you don't go insane. It's almost like a reduced sugar Rice Krispies treat. Or like those special K bars, you know, the breakfast bars. Reminds me of something like that. Look at these little rice puffs. That's black rice, and it's like purple. Looks like candy. It breaks apart easily. Mm. I'd be having this for breakfast. Again, malt. Malt, puffed rice, lightly sweetened. Whoa. This, the gel, that's an intense flavor. Some weird indistinguishable fruit mixed with multivitamin and then ginseng. Hmm. Okay, here's the thing. A lot of people would find this revolting. But I understand the value behind that. Hmm. That's stimulating. There's green tea in there. Antioxidants. Ginseng. That's going to be waking you up. The multivitamins. There's sugar in this. And it's ready to drink. Like, you don't have to mess around. Hmm. That would be amazing in a pinch. It really would. Here. Oh my gosh. The beverage base. Again, malt. But it's like fruity, like really fruity. It has a actually halfway natural fruit flavor. That's lychee. That's lychee fruit. Again, multivitamins. It has a fair amount of minerals. It's like future food right here. Even though it's very light in its overall flavor, the type 2 bar, a little bit sweeter, and a little bit more, you know, malt. Texture variation, crunch, easier to eat, easier to chew, you know, than the type 1. But it's like mostly carbs, you know. This is where your nutrition's at. I mean, you get six of them, so twice as many. They weigh over twice as much as the type 2. So, yeah, I mean, the type 2 is like your little dessert. And if you just don't have the time or inclination or what have you, the patience to eat one of these, you got, you got that. Start the day off, maybe you got a sour stomach or something like that. Uh, these things are pretty interesting. It's like 
If it weren't for the malt and light amount of sugar, that would taste like an eraser. I feel like I can keep chewing it. So you got two drinks with, I would suspect at least caffeine in this one. The gel has ginseng and green tea. I can taste it. resembles the texture of a smoothie mixed with if you ground up B vitamins and then mixed it with some kind of weird like diet juice beverage or something I actually liked it and then this this is like dessert this and the type 2 bars are the best part of the ration you know flavor wise that's a strong flavor of malt it's very sweet there's a lot of sugar and maltodextrins added to it, I believe. It's kind of like a thickener, you know, but it's also going to give it you know, extra carbs. And it's not like pure sugar carbs. You got a little of both. It doesn't get much more maxed out on efficiency. For a big war, this thing is smart. It's kind of a miserable ration, but it's also extremely effective and well made. When I say miserable, as in very little in the sense of morale boosting components, no chewing gum, no toilet paper, no coffee or tea. Your tea is built into this and you know your vitamins all throughout it. Very nourishing, very straightforward assault food packet. I'm gonna save those bars, it's a ton of food. The 2200 calories will keep you filled up but not bogged down. Well anyway, this is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.